R&B, the corporate and investment division of First Rand, has enabled approximately 155 billion rand in sustainable and transition finance across Africa from 2021 to 2023. Now, this funding supports renewable energy, energy efficiency and decarbonisation initiatives as African companies and governments advance their sustainability goals. Operating in 35 countries, RMB launched its Sustainable Finance Division three years ago, aiming to facilitate 200 billion rand in sustainable finance by 2026. Furthermore, Head of Sustainable Finance and ESG at RMB, Nigel Beck, noted that clients have committed to significant targets, including reducing greenhouse gas emissions, enhancing renewable energy use, and minimizing waste and water consumption. What we're trying to do is we're trying to flip the narrative around and say, isn't there significant opportunity for us if we're proactive, if we work together to access certain pools of capital that have been available globally that can be directed towards Africa? So there's lots of these pools of capital and we really need to direct them into Africa, to the projects and to the people on the continent to enable economic growth. Now, if we look at sustainable finance within RMB, we facilitated 155 billion dollar uh, rands uh, of sustainable finance over the last three years so it's a significant opportunity looking very much at kind of green loans sustainability link loans but if you look at the social element you know that's potentially two percent of it so it's quite a small element and the idea is that we want to focus on that more as part of the just element you know how can we build that out so we're looking at that across kind of for example blended finance structures um, so the idea is you know we're taking that and translating that into the to the impacts our deals are having on the ground. So some of the deals that we've been involved in, we've, for example, f facilitated about 2,400 2, megawatts of power. Um, and I, I think jo Judy spoke about this earlier, but that 2,400 megawatts of power is essentially enough power to, to power Cape Town during peak demand. So we're trying to make you know, the funding, the metrics, um, relevant to the man in the streets, so the person can understand what we're talking about. Similarly, when we look at kind of um, water conservation, we've looked at water conservation, more efficiencies in water, and through our projects and our loans, we've managed to uh, save enough water for about 230,000 people in Africa for a 